Hi, the resources in this module was designed to let you know how to use the rich text editor inside of Schoology. So now we're going to kind of bring it all together by incorporating the visual anchors and the table. And I'm going to show you how you can add directions and content that you've learned throughout this um, module. So I've copied the template that you're finding below. And I just deleted the video out of the top section of it. And I have the explanation to the instructor that you can copy and paste this into a page, which is what I've done. And you have the flexibility now to add information to it. So in the cell where there are directions, I would type student specific, clear and concise directions for my kids. Whatever they need here. And then in the Learn It cell, this is where you can embed your mini lesson. So remember, we learned how to do that by going to the Insert Content tool and our video lived in Google Drive. So I'm going to search for, as soon as it pops up, my little mini lesson. And I'm going to click the box in front and choose Import and Import Embed. And now you'll notice that that particular video is imported in that cell. And then I can come down to practice it. And I'm going to tell them, complete this assignment. And I'm going to link this assignment to somewhere else in my Schoology because I've already created the assignment. So I'm going to go up to my tab where I am already in my Schoology. And I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to choose duplicate. That way I can go into my course, whether it's math, science, social studies, or whatever, and go into the assignment that I want the students to actually complete and copy the URL address and come back into my learning path. Click the insert content tool, choose link, and paste in that particular assignment. And then for the evidence of learning, I could do the same way, insert a link back to a discussion or whatever. And then when I am ready to save those changes, I can click Save Changes. If you are truly personalizing learning, then you could come down to your options and individually assign this particular item out to the students that need this pathway. So I'm going to click Save Changes. And then you'll see as we go through, that the video is embedded, there's an assignment here, and then everything else I would have added to this template.